This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here chatting with Faraz Nasser from iConnect Tech, who is also the founder of High Tech Hub Palestine, a new group that's launched in Palestine to discuss um, tech developments and tech entrepreneurship. Um, Faraz, tell me about the event. Tell me about the group. What's the goal? How did it go? Hi, Nina. Thank you. Uh, I mean, the, the group is it's actually inspired by the Amman Tech Tuesday events. And the goal is to bring people together, people who are interested in the Palestinian tech startup scene, and get them to first network, mingle together, and as well to bring some speakers in to have them share their experiences and knowledge with, with, with the audience. And it was an amazing event last Wednesday. Uh, we had a great attendance from students, university professors, developers, entrepreneurs, investors. It was just amazing. Amazing. How many people were there? Uh, for this first event, we had, I think, approximately 500 people that showed up. Uh, we had we had students from six different Palestinian universities, at least six, uh, six different Palestinian universities show up. Uh, so it was, you know, it was very energetic. There was a lot of, you know, a lot of people, a lot of interaction, people that were Great feedback, great reviews. You know, obviously there are things we're going to improve next time, but uh, overall, I think this first event was a great success. Cool. Did you see support from the Peaks community? Absolutely, absolutely. They they were uh, they were on board from the from the beginning. When I, uh, when I brought them, they were on board. They a lot of Peaks members showed up for the event, uh, and there are a number of active discussions. There were a number before the event started, and there are so ongoing. Uh, you know, discussions after the event on how we can improve it next time, what they liked, and, you know, what, what, what areas we, we can improve for the, uh, the upcoming events. Really cool. Um, can you just run us through some of the highlights? I know there were some good speakers there. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, uh, we were actually very fortunate. We had two great Palestinian American entrepreneurs uh, come speakers. Uh, the first was Wet Lanasra. Uh, he started his first com first company in the U.S. at the age of 25, which was Chat Communications, and now he's at his third company, which is Voice Beam. He gave us, you know, gave the audience some great advice on, you know, how how to keep innovating, how to keep on improving. Uh, and the second speaker was Sani Shalabi, who is a software entrepreneur and an and an angel investor, and he's currently head of engineer at Google's digital publishing platform, and he's also the uh, co-founder of Yellow Startup. And he, you know, he also gave the audience some great, great advice. You know, just fail fast and keep moving forward. Uh, between the, between the speeches we had, uh, we actually had some local startups that came and pitched their startups to the audience, and we had a little vote at the end, uh, you know, just to you know, to make things a little exciting and uh, get the audience audience involved. And we had them vote for their favorite startup. Uh, you know, all the all the ten local startups did a great job. And uh, there was there were definitely some interesting, you know, a lot of potential from them, and some, you know, some interesting ideas. Did you see any that stood out to you? Uh, there are actually, yeah, there are actually a number of them. Uh, of course, we had uh, Yam Safa, which you know, was in, has been in the news lately. You know, they did just secured one million dollars in funding from Sadar Ventures. We also had some, uh, you know, some young entrepreneurs. Uh, we had a 12-year-old entrepreneur by the name of Omar Shawi who had his, uh, his company, Not Lost, where uh, he built an application to sort of help people find uh, things they lost. Um, you know, we had a, a few in, in the gaming, like uh, Liberation Gate, which actually uh, won first prize, and Xbox, uh, which won second prize. So you can tell that gaming is, is also, there was a lot, a lot of interest in gaming here in Palestine. And I think all companies did a great job in terms of gaming, the animations, the, the presentations we saw, we're fabulous. That's amazing. And you have a 12 year old entrepreneur. So he's actually yeah. too young to make our teenage entrepreneurs list. <laughs> well, hopefully, when by the time he's, he reaches the age, he'll, you know, he'll have done plenty. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and speaking of the Yam Safra deal, did you see the influence of that on the scene? You know, were people discussing the deal? Were entrepreneurs feeling inspired by it? Uh, I think it was a big highlight for the night, and, uh, and the timing of it was perfect because, you know, the Anne Stafford deal, the news came out a few days before the events happened. Uh, I think lots of people were talking about it. There were there was lots of congratulations to the Anne Stafford team 
I think most of all, it inspired a lot of people to see, you know, like these guys, they started a company not too long ago. They've already secured a million dollars in funding. You know, if they can do it, many others can do it too. And that's that's sort of the whole uh, intention of the High Tech Club, which is to bring people together, share experiences, and hopefully inspire enough people to, you know, to really uh, start to make a change here in the, the startup, uh, you know, ecosystem. Yeah, and so also you came back um, to Palestine specifically to work in this vein. That's is that right? Uh, so that came, yeah, I, I I moved back from Toronto last year, and my intention is to sort of you know help uh, aspiring entrepreneurs help you know help make a change here. Uh, there is definitely a lot of potential, uh, but there's, they need guidance. You know, the, there's not a lot of experience. That's why when someone like the Manasa or Sam shall be come and share their experience experience with these you know university students or these new graduates. Uh, you can just see their eyes full of you know, like hope and you know admiration, and at the same time, uh, you know they're inspired by what they hear. So I think my coming back, bringing back Palestinian Americans was was intentional. Uh, we could have brought I could have brought any other you know sort of international export. But I wanted them to be Palestinian Americans or Palestinians that can show the people here that you know these are Palestinians. We're they're just like us. Uh, you know they can do it. You can do it too. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully, as this gains momentum, um, more and more will be coming back. Uh, what's next for you guys? Well, I mean, again, like I'm on TT, uh, we're hoping to have this every month. So hopefully, uh, we're actually going to try to schedule at the end of every month. That way, it doesn't uh, you know conflict with the Amman um, TT in case you want to s- attend both. Uh, hopefully, uh, my goal is by the end of October to have a second event. Great. Uh, same format, sort of you know have a few speech speakers, uh, two or three speakers, and uh, some sort of startups, their ideas. And if someone's interested in attending or speaking, where should they go? Uh, well, the website and the group page. Uh, we do have a website, high tech. Up. Yes, that's G I T E C H H T B P S, and to the Facebook page. Um, at the moment, we're also sorting uh, how people can sign up, uh, but definitely always interested in hearing. You know, uh, finding people who want to speak, who want to pitch. I know there's all there's been a lot of uh, positive response. Uh, people have shown interest already in pitching their ideas, their startups. Uh, but you know, uh, we can always use more. If we get two or three or five or ten, we can, you know, that, that just shows how strong and how supportive people are of the initiative. Yeah, I really hope to see, um, you know, content coming out of there and also some great startups. I hope to, you know, I hope this um, galvanizes young people to create more startups because we've seen a few come out of Palestine, but um, just love to see more. Yeah, so, so yeah. So, um, great. Congratulations on your first launch event. And, um, thank you very much. Look forward to the next one. Frost, thank you so much for chatting with us. My pleasure. Thank you.